Oh, so he's still 1990 paint. Yeah, it was painted then. Yeah, that's the last time from the doors back it's been painted. It was in early 90s probably. So that's why it looks like it does. I mean, it's been raced and, you know. Paint ain't bad. It'd be a lot better. Yeah, it ain't bad. I'm, I'm curious why you guys have the rivets here, but that's not paint, that's rivets. What happened here? Well, see, the, the newer cars actually have something here that comes through here that holds that trim. That door molding on. Okay. And this is a 79 door. It's a 79 car. So it's original. I mean, like, it's, it's still got the short VIN in it. It's got the got the piece here. It's still got the short VIN because it's a 79 model. So it's a 79 model door. And it's uh, it didn't come with them. And then, of course, it was, you know, if you shook the tire or something, it'd halfway rattle off. One of them, so I finally took them off, and I just think, yeah, need, need something to put them back together to keep them apart, especially. So. so. 
explain to me. What the hell is that shit there? Well, everybody, everybody. They thought that was exhaust. Is that man? Is your exhaust right there? <laughs> Yeah, they, the they, was, were back here. they would see that thing in the track and they come up and said, man, I ain't never seen the exhaust coming out the quarter like that. That's the craziest thing I've ever seen. I said, man, that ain't the exhaust coming out. That's, feed, that's feeding the turbos. You know? did, um, did, did people like run away when you said that or something? They run away? No, yeah, they, no, they thought it was neat. No, they look at the something you don't see every day. You know? <laughs> <laughs> what made you guys change from twin turbos, like onboard twin turbos, to engine bay single turbo, like what is? Well, we we wanted to switch to alcohol. Well, I, I, I say I want to switch to alcohol. I wanted to switch to single, and I said, well, if I'm gonna switch to single, I might as well go to alcohol okay. to lose the weight. Yeah. But Take main main reason why out. we got away from the twin turbo is because some of the street style classes or, or something that I, you know, that I could run in, they they frown on twins. Ah, Didn't matter if you had a 118 on on the damn thing. But you can't have twins. You can't have twin 66. You, you can't have, yeah. You but you can do a single 118, okay. Right. Sounds fair. So we decided to go single so we could run more classes. And then we decided to go to alcohol to try to lose the weight, put it up front, instead of trying to figure out where in the hell to put an intercooler. You know, we had the intercooler back there between the wheel wells instead of running piping, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, 40 oh. foot of pipe in there and back. Well, I, I bet you guys have a lot of weight on the back so the car should hook really yeah, good back in the day. Before it was. I mean, oh, we did, I, I we did no prep. We did some I mean, no prep stuff with it. I mean, oh, I bet. I bet. Like with so much weight, the turbos yeah. there, the cooler there, the water there, yeah. like a lot of well, stuff. No, even even now, with the, like, you know, we hadn't scaled it. We need to uh -huh, scale uh -huh. it this year. But last year, even with the turbo on the front, so we have that big fuel cell. Oh, I see. And the radiator and all that stuff in the back. Now, we still last year we could we could fill that tank up. We could fill the tank up with no weight on the nose. And was it 52, 52 and a half on the front? Ain't bad. It was 52 and a half on the front. So there's no radiator here, but it is a water cool engine. You guys have the radiator on the back, uh, right. so you still can drive around if you have to, like a right. some kind of 30 mile class cruise. that requires yes. you to do like yeah. a ride around or something yeah. like that. Even though there's nothing like that around here. Yes, wow. outlaw true street car that there is no classes. Or around. you can just like go to the station lanes driving in, then yeah, driving yeah. back if you yeah. have to or something yeah. like that. That's pretty cool. That's right. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Man, it's a shame that we can't tell people the power because I think it's cool. Uh, you know, you know, you know, rules, rules or something, <laughs> yeah. something like that. Like, okay, so you guys have not been to the track yet? Not this year, no. So this is the shakedown. We did yeah. a nice shakedown. We, we we've attempted the track a couple times. But what we, happened? Well, we got rained out one time, and then the second time we was. You know, we had opportunity to get on a, the roller dyno first, oh. and we were headed the track, and then I called and he said, "Yeah, bring it." You know, um, it's Blake Fronder. If, okay. If you know. uh -huh. We uh -huh. caught we caught him one Friday night. We was headed to Steel one Friday night just Perfect. to just to try to do uh -huh. a little shakedown and and I called him and uh, he wasn't going the track. He was staying. He was at the shop. And I said, Well, can we put on the dyno? Because I really put on the dyno. Yeah, yeah. Then then to go the track to try to get you know a little bit done. So um, so we never made it to the track. And um, well, I can tell you this: like today was regular day. You know, start in the morning, finish the end of the day. But we we. We went over a lot of stuff. We did. We did. We went was, a lot of stuff. Usually, this kind of stuff at the track takes four, five, six outings, right? Because like, absolutely, you can't do a lap. Rains out. Absolutely. Someone oils down. Yeah. There's a curfew, right? Yeah. The the, I don't know. They track rep, track Yeah. Like whatever game. happens. So like, or you kick the tire because it's too hot. That's you right. know. Yeah. Like, we did nine laps today. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nine laps today. Absolutely. So we did nine yeah. laps today. So we could work around everything, like spool up, low boost, high boost, like a lot of boost. Oh my God, all the boost. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Blow, blow an elbow, <laughs> blow an elbow gasket out boost. Yeah. Uh, well, no. We, yeah, it was a very successful day. There's no doubt. I mean, we 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 accomplished exactly what we wanted to accomplish. Um, we thought it would make that kind of power, and it and it and it did. Thank goodness. That's good. Um, That's good. But yeah, like you said, it would take a lot of outings to the track, and and there again, if if we'd have had them injector problems, we'd have chased that the rest of the year, and probably never figured it out for some reason. So yeah, being yeah. here, being here, and having on the dyno, and Cameron saying, hey, we might have two happy unhappy injectors. So we, it's it's good it's good to go over, you know, because like sometimes. 
Absolutely. You have a, a you have an older piece, or you have trash that went through, or right. whatever. But when you were at the track, you don't have much time. You're like it's qualifying, it's this, it's that. Like you yeah. don't have that time to take your time. You're like okay, let's try this, let's try that, let's sure. see what it is. Like I, I honestly think that coming to the hub dyno is almost like going to three or four test sessions. Absolutely. Because you can do a lot of laps. Yeah. There is no stress about qualifying yeah. or racing. Yeah. Correct. As, as, as long as yeah. your car is ready, mm -hmm. ready to dyno and it don't have problem after problem, you know, then, oh. then yes, go, coming here for sure. And I have an honor mention to say, you guys came in early. That's great. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. because like you come in early, you have the whole day to work. You oh, know, yeah. so like you, you 8.30, you guys were here, open the door, the car is in, being bolted in. It's, yeah. it's what, like not even 5.30 yet. Everything is done, it's already unbolted, ready yeah. to go back to the trailer. A lot of power we made on this thing. Like, and explain a little bit about the motor. So it's like a, it's not a one of a kind, but it's pretty rare, right? Yeah, I mean, you don't it's, see that you often. Don't, you don't see that a, often. It's a, it's a Titus block with a... Take a look at my four guy right there. My four guy. Show my four guy. Look, it's, he's all smiles. He's he all smiles. First, first pull, he was crying. Yeah, he was crying happy. He was just like, he was, I cried the whole day. Yeah, the whole day he's emotive about this because, like, you sure. don't see every day a Ford Hemi right. small block. That's that's freaking cool. That's that's exactly right. So it was like opportunity that show up to you, or you chase that engine to have it? What, what happened there? What do, what do you guys do? Well, I mean, how did it come about, basically, yeah, yeah. Is, is, you know, I, I come across Greg, the Hammerhead, um, I, I really like that Hemi style, it made me think, because me and Tim, for years, we had mod motor stuff, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, which the spark plugs, yeah, and, yeah, you know, yeah, run yeah. 32 valve stuff, yeah, you know, perfect, he, perfect. he done a unbelievable thing with the, the four valve stuff, you know, and, um, and I, I like that just to, for the ease of the spark plugs. I'm, oh, not, I'm not. I'm not no great mechanic by no means. So any, anything easier for me, you know, <laughs> to be able to swap plugs or something. Anything easier, you know. And I like the concept of it. And I know a Hemi style head, you know. Yeah. It, you know, it's got to make power. Oh, 100%. It's got to make power. So I called Greg up, and you know, and he was he was, uh, he you know he he was trying to uh, when he started doing them, he wasn't planning on people drag racing with making a ton of power with them. He was just trying to do them for street rods and stuff like that uh -huh. so he really got into the finally got in the drag racing side of it and you know it took me a little while to get the heads but but we had them hipped and you know a bunch of other stuff to man that's that's know. that's really cool that's so, really cool and, and uh, even how you guys put it together i i, I really thought it was really cool because like you have the coils right there right so it makes it easier to work on the mm -hmm. car spark right. plugs right there obviously is a hemi head yeah. so everything is fairly simple nothing's like piled up you have a lot of room because the the intake the way that you guys is the intake so have a lot of room between the heads and the intake mm -hmm. so the fuel rails and the injectors we were able to swap mm -hmm. fairly easy right yeah we yeah. work on the injectors fairly easy then it's a um, alcohol no intercooler deal so like it's the turbo pipe you almost don't see because it's cool like you guys paint in black so like you don't see coming here and have the turbo in the middle exhaust go one side it's, a, it's, a, it's kind of a simple setup. It looks good. It looks good. I like it. We're just going to need the O ring on the elbow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. No kidding. So we may be losing boost. Just a, just a yeah, hair, maybe. Yeah. Just a hair. I think he gave up by the end of the round. Yeah. He just, <clears throat> he just, just, mm. just blew it out. I don't, know, I don't know if the bolt's kind so of. So we can show it. we can show the power graph. We just can't show the number. <laughs> he just can't show the number. <laughs> can't show the number. Or we can show the power graph. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Well, I really appreciate you guys stopping oh, by. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Having some time. Come on, come on, my driver. Yeah. Hey, my you. driver. Thank so, you. how many people drove your yours. car? Mine. How many people drove this car besides you? No, it's his car. But you never drive this thing? No, I haven't really. Why not? No, I'm, I'm the driver. What, 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 what are you talking tap, about? I just tap the keyboard. Come on. I could drive it. He could drive mine. He He's lighter than you, buddy. You guys gonna need to swap places. You guys need to swap places. <laughs> well, I mean, he, he knows the car is good or better than I do. I mean, you know, so I mean, he, if he if he want to get behind the wheel, he can. The seat's up far enough, so I mean, <laughs> look at that. I don't. That's man. your chance. That's your <laughs> chance right there. That's your chance. Yeah. You hear that? That's what we're trying to get to. Well, really cool that you guys stopped by. I love it. I like it. Sounds cool. We don't see this thing every day, so this is something that's really cool too to have it here and be able to touch it you know it was a pleasure to work with Absolutely. and i really hope you guys do well uh, we can share power more like you guys can share et's 
<laughs> right? <laughs> but like, uh, we see. So next time on a no time grudge race or something like that. Yep. Yeah, ho hopefully we can get in some street style, you know, all steel, all glass or something, and try to be try to be competitive with. Hopefully, I mean that's the that's the goal. We can't get in the stock style front suspension with the 28 275 cars, you know, because they, nah. they're uh, they're not yeah. they're not street cars. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, th this this one here yeah. is still heavy enough. It's still it's still uh, it's still heavy and it's still able to be driven. It ain't ain't much of a street car, but you can drive if you have to. <laughs> you know, <laughs> drive it if you have to. You know, uh, but yeah, the uh, and it was it. Was, uh, by the way, it was when it had the twins back there in the back. Man, you talking about people always ask me were the twins in there. The yeah. sound. No, they always ask me, so, man, I bet it gets hot in there, don't I? Well, I never rode with the windows up because I'd have died for sure. I'd have died going down the road, you know, just from the fumes uh -huh, and stuff. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Because where the dumps were, I mean, it, for some reason, a good bit of gas gas fumes come in the car. Really? So, I mean, anytime I did a cruise, I had the windows down. It wasn't that wow. big a deal. But, but it wasn't the heat. It was the it was the noise. At 2,500, them turbos, they're ready to light off. They're singing at 2,500 back here. Oh, I bet. Right? You know, so it was it was really loud in the car. You have like two pieces of metal spinning at a hundred thousand RPM behind <laughs> you. I told you, balls of steel, buddy. Balls of steel, yeah. Balls of steel. Wow. That's right. Wow. Uh, the man upstairs looked out for me many times. You I, know. I, I bet you. You know, so there ain't, ain't no doubt. Cold deal. Well, looked at some footage. We spent the whole day doing our laps, so you guys can see a lot of stuff that we did today. And uh, pay attention to the sound. The sound is just badass is unique see you guys next time